Hi guys, in this lesson we will talk about the differences between router link elements. We can specify the links in React with three different ways. First one is a pure HTML reference. Second one is link. And the third one is nav link. Pure HTML reference is a typical anchor link element. So when we click the link, the whole application is reloaded from the beginning. So this is not an effective way in the React. Linked and nav linked are similar things in React router. The only difference between the two of them is that nav link gives us a couple of additional things. We can add in here active class name and that will automatically tie your CSS class to the current URL. Nav link covers all functionalities of link. So we can find all features in the nav link that link has. Nav link also has strict and excite props. Strict prop checks all slashes in the path. When the nav link path has a trailing slash and you would like to match this path including the trailing slash, then include the strict prop. For example, after changing the nav link path from path1 to slash path1 slash, the nav link component would still match the URL path without the trailing slash. In other words, path1 would match the nav link component with the path1 path. However, after adding the strict prop, React Router ensures that navlink mates only if the URL has a trailing slash. Navlink also has excite prop. When you click on the navlink with the prop path1, the active class is applied to both the navlink components in the page, similar to the route component. The slash in path1 matches the path specified in the to prop and thus the active class is applied to both the navlink components. In this case, the excite prop can be used to apply the active class only when the path matches the browser's URL. Okay, we got them, but what is the difference between excite and strict? If you use excite and strict together, then the location path name will only match exactly as provided in path props. For example, if we have a path path1, then it matches with only slash path1 slash, not slash path1 or not slash path1 slash path2. If you use only strict, then the location path name will match which have trailing slash. For example, if we have a path slash pet1 slash then it can match with slash pet1 slash or slash pet1 slash pet2. So it can match every path that starts with the slash pet1 slash. If you use only excite then the location path name will match the excite location path. For example, if we have a path like slash pet1 slash then it can match with slash pet1 slash or slash pet1. The excite prop doesn't care for trailing slash, but it will not match slash pet1 slash pet2. That's all for the beginning for router links. We will see example cases about them in our course. Thank you.